Faraday's law. If a magnet moves in the vicinity of an electric circuit, or the circuit moves in the vicinity of a magnet, then a current is pushed around the circuit. We can show Faraday's law with this magnet here, the circuit here, which includes the coil of copper wire connected to the bulb there. Mm -hmm. If you were to hold the coil and I was to move the magnet, then that'll produce a current in the coil, hence in the light bulb, and it'll light up the light bulb. Let's give it a try. It works. Now, if I were to move this, we'd have the same thing? Absolutely. There we go. Quite hard work, isn't it? It is hard work. If it takes this much energy to light that little light bulb, it must take a lot to run a city. That's right, because we shall see. Here's what it takes to power a whole city. This is the generator at the public service company's Valmont plant. This is powering Boulder and then some. Public service is selling this power to other communities, too. That's right. Coal piled up outside the plant is carried by conveyor belt to the boiler. Peeking inside the boiler, we get a glimpse of the intense flame that boils water into steam. The steam is carried by pipe to the generator where it turns a turbine. The turbine is hooked to a magnet that turns inside a coil. That creates a current like the professor and I did in the laboratory. The current is carried by wires to your home. 